Hi everybody and welcome to Nimrod Animation's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll break down the process I use to merge custom 3D product renders into AI-generated images. I'm using Comfy UI plus Flux Dev to get a base render. It's free and gets realistic results. For this demonstration, I decided to use Realistic Aesthetic Poses Laura that you can find on Civit AI.com. I've picked one of the example images that I liked and copied the prompt to speed up the process. I'm using the basic Flux Dev script that can be downloaded directly from the Comfy UI examples library. Paste the prompt into the clip text area, plug a load LoRa node between the model and the clip text, and load the LoRa into the node. Hit run and repeat until you get a good result. I'm using Cinema 4D for this demonstration, but the principles are the same for every 3D package. Load the product into the scene. Add a hemisphere to cover the product backside. I aim to get a color spill from the AI-generated image into the product. That step will help with blending. Add a camera that will later be used to project the AI image on the hemisphere. Create an incandescent material. Plug the AI-generated image into the emission color channel. Assign the material to the hemisphere. In the material settings, set the projection to camera mapping. Match the position rotation and scale of the product to the AI generated figure. Balance the luminosity values. It doesn't have to perfectly match at this point. Copy the sphere and rotate it to cover the front. The AI image color values will reflect on the product front side. Remove the frontal sphere from camera render so it won't block the view, but still affect the product. Add lights to imitate the lighting conditions of the AI image. In this case I used one light with very low spread to mimic a sunlight. I place the light above the product and slightly to the left.
Keep balancing the spread, intensity, scale, and position of the light until they match the AI image. Add pieces of geometry to the scene. Use it to block parts of the product from rendering. Repeat the process of the image projection with the new geometry. Keep adjusting the camera and geometry positions for better product stitch. It's okay to bend, squash, and stretch the model, as long as you do it subtly. Here I'm bending the product a bit with an FFD to fit the figure's narrow hips. Make a new take or a render layer, depends on the 3D program. This is a good practice as I might want to go back and reiterate if I won't like the final result. When the render layer is checked on, all changes affect only the layer. I turn off the visibility of the background because I only need the product for the final render. I also set the extra geometry to matte, so it hides the parts of the product behind it and removes it from the alpha channel.
Render a final output. Moving to color correction and adding contact shadows. Import the AI image and the 3D product render. Mask out unwanted parts. In this example, I'm sampling the yellow color and using the selection as a mask to keep the fine details of the fur coat. Keep masking out more areas. Use levels to color correct the product to match the whites and darks of the AI image in the 3D render. Add levels adjustment layers for both the AI image and the 3D render. Create a mask and paint in the contact shadows.
This is good enough for this demonstration. Import the final image into an image to video AI generation engine. Keep the prompt short in the format of camera movement type, character action description, background action description. Note that this point of the process is like throwing pasta on a wall. The more you'll ask of it, the less it will do. Try running it about five to 10 times and pick something that you can work with. My aim was to spice up my product work with realistic images without hiring models, setting up a photo shoot, or even having a real physical product. These are the final results and the prompt I used to get them. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and informative.